Hi, my name is Rebecca O'Mahony and today I'm going to be talking to you about the potential role for actuaries to work in the justice system in calculating criminal punishment. Um, so I'll just begin by briefly explaining how the current system works. When a criminal is found guilty, it is the judge who decides on the punishment they will receive. They take into consideration obviously the facts of the case, um, whether or not the person has pleaded guilty and their past criminal record, to name but a few things. And they then assign a punishment based on these facts, ranging from a fine to a life sentence in prison, um, in Ireland anyways. However, despite the fact that approximately 2.8 billion euro is spent on the justice services in Ireland annually, little consideration is given to the costs of the various punishments when a judge, judge is assigning them. So what we propose is that actuaries work alongside judges to analyse the costs of the various forms of punishment um, yeah, to analyze the cost of various forms of punishment. Um, so take, for example, in America, where capital punishment is still in place in some states. Um, many people would be of the, of the, sorry, of the opinion that um, carrying out executions is saving the state money. However, for example, in Texas, um, each, it costs the taxpayer um, 2.3 million euro to carry out a single execution. And this is actually three times the cost it, um, it will cost to house a prisoner in a single cell in a maximum security prison for 40 years. So that's obviously due to the lengthy and um, costly legal procedures that must be followed prior to carrying out the execution, but also just shows how important it is to carefully consider the costs of the punishments before they are um, implemented. So even here in Ireland, the costs between various forms of punishment um, vary quite drastically. So for example, it costs 70,000 euro to house a prisoner in a prison um, for a year in Ireland, and compare this with the cost of overseeing somebody serving a community service order, which is just, just two and a half thousand euro. Um, I think it's also worth noting that um, the rate of people being sent to serve community service orders instead of a term in prison in Ireland is half of the European rate. So that would again seem to suggest that little consideration is really given to the cost of these punishments before they are um, given to prisoners. Um, there I am. Uh, yeah, so actually, even in 2011 in Ireland, for example, the average time of a prison sentence was just three months. Um, this would, again, imply that the, sent the crimes these people were serving their sentences for were somewhat minor in nature. Um, so a, a community service order would have been probably an appropriate form of punishment and it would have saved the state money. Um, actuaries obviously specialise in risk assessment, so actuaries could work alongside judges to estimate the risk that each individual criminal would pose to society if they were not assigned a custodial sentence, which would hopefully help to reduce crime rates. Um, so overall, I do think there is an area of work for actuaries in collaborating with judges in deciding on criminal sentencing and help to lower the economic cost of crime. Um, while in theory I think that actuaries could um, act as a valuable aid in this decision making, I also recognise that in practice um, many of the outcomes may be morally or ethically incorrect. Therefore I believe it would be the combination of the actuaries' analysis of data along with the judge's own personal instinct and their past experience that would lead to the best decisions being made um, that would protect the Irish population and also help to conserve money. So just as life insurance pre uh, premiums are based on risk, um, I believe it would be prudent that um, the risk each individual criminal poses to society should be taken into consideration uh, before deciding on what punishment to assign the criminals. Um, perhaps it would be worth considering whether or not a general actuarial analysis could be carried out into the overall costs and risks associated with the different forms of punishment on a whole system level to see if better socioeconomic outcomes could be achieved on a macro level. Um, that's all. Thank you.